to show you how to connect to your NX Witness systems. Okay, so right now this is the landing page of NX Witness desktop client, and you can see I only see two servers right here, right? And that's because I haven't connected to NX Cloud. So these two servers, I should say these two systems are the ones that I have direct IP addresses that I can connect to them directly. Okay, so now I'm going to connect to NX Cloud. See, there's one way to click here, log into NX Cloud, or you can also go here, click the cloud icon right there. So when you connect to your NX Cloud account, come okay you need to key in your password to your nx cloud and uh, i have enabled a two-factor authentications when i want to log into my nx cloud account so now you need to uh, open your authentication app i'm using uh, google authenticator so i need to key in this one time verification call and then i will be able to log into NX Cloud. You can see right here, I'm connected to NX Cloud. Okay, so once you connect to your NX Cloud account, you will see available systems that's shared to you. For example, this is my home system. I'm the system owner. Uh, our Taipei office demo center is shared by the system owner, which is Sean, our sales engineer. Uh, for example, we have some very kind partners from Europe, or, or, or from different countries, they share their system with me via NX Cloud. So you can see this is the owner of these systems. And I'm able to see those systems in my landing page because they have granted access to me. Okay, so I, I will be different levels of uh, users when I log in. For example, if I log into the Taipei system, I'm also administrator. If I'm logging to the demo system of our French distributor, then I am just a advanced viewer, okay? So once you log in, you can see it's much easier for you uh, to connect to various systems because not every system has a static IP address or, or a DDNS address. Okay, so you connect to the system you want to go to. And right now I'm going to show you uh, how do you connect your system to NX Cloud. Okay, so let's go to system admin. There's NX Cloud. So you can see right here, the system is connected to Sean. So that's Sean's NX Cloud uh, accounts. So uh, one thing to know that uh, if you want to connect a system to the cloud. So before it's to the connected to the cloud, of course, you can also log in. You can only log in by a static IP address, right? And then you have to make sure you are logging in as an administrator and you are the owner of the system. And then you can just simply go to this page and connect this system to the NX cloud, okay? And once you connect the system to NX cloud, you can create different types of users. You can create cloud users. So it will be very simple. If you want to share that with someone, for example, this is my personal Gmail. I can just say, I want to share this system via NX Cloud to Jason. I want to make him a, an advanced viewer, viewer or, or some other roles right here. Okay. And of course you can also share create a user logging for local user. For example, people who work outside, right? They they might not have internet connection or for some reasons you, you don't want them to use the NX Cloud service. Of course, you can create a local a user for that logging. Okay, also as well, there are different user roles for you to choose. So that's about it. Uh, it's to let you know how easy it is to share your system with others via NX Cloud and uh, the landing page of a uh, local system and the landing page of all the NX Cloud connected systems. Thank you.